At one fist of fury, the one flyweight kickboxing world title is on the line. If they just drop the Thai superstar, they pitch and then just fly in, ripping out and breaks them, jumping into the super red corner, super red, Yanuga! Can Enahachi topple another Thai and tighten his grip on the belt? Or will Super Life stun him to become One's new flyweight kickboxing king? Find out at One Fist of Fury on the 26th of February. Quiet then, didn't we? <laughs> he looks so innocent as far as his face. Young and hungry for the title. He is looking very bouncy. Interesting you guys moving to his left. You know? Yeah, because he can walk into the right kick. He can. I'll run the right hand. But he has to walk to his left, to land his left kick as well. You can't start slow. How many times will people understand that Muay Thai is... You can't start slow. And they, they, they will go straight at you and they will give you no rest at all. He's going to finish it now. across the ring there. He's going to go for it. You're going to have to find something this young Big kid. Big again. And a right hand. He needs to find something. They just... They lose rhythm and panic. They get surprised by the shots because they don't come to play. There's not scoring in this. It's not. This is about damage and damage fast, and, and this is what they do. He'll go for it. Yeah, Ilias. Another right attack, and it'll be over. That's it. Well, a quick defense for you him. You can't do it. I did say this, and that was a fantastic performance by Ilias Anashi. Inside this sold out impact arena in Bangkok, Thailand. It's Petra, the Indy Academy, defending the crowd. And it's Ilias in a hardship. Second round knockout of Puda. See Anton on the boat first round. There's a push, and that's kick off the back leg from Petra. And again from Petra, and a hardship goes high to the bottom of In a hardship, very wide starts. right up top with the head kick. You can see it kind of baffles Pendam just for a moment. Let's take another look at it. Different one. Look at that. Sweeps out the leg, disrupts the balance of Pendam, and then goes after the head. Just slow him down, keep him stationary, so he start to unload on him.
the push game. Penta, do not expect that. In a Hachi, more combinations than a Sudo 3 puzzle. Second round. He's going to slow down in a Hachi, and a Hachi just operating at a higher gear. Tango back against the fence. Once again, yeah. folks, follow us at one championship across social media, YouTube. Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Double round house kick here from Pinter. Oh, he's in double round! He's in double round! He goes down! He dropped the champion! Oh, he's doing the chicken dance! Pinter doing the chicken dance! He doesn't know where he is, the cobwebs are there! He doesn't know where he is! And a hard kick to finish it! Pinter's worth the picking! He's oh. ready to go! Title, the main event of one championship, Age of Dragons. Michael Chavello, Mitch Chilson with you. They are one and one in their history. This the trilogy match for the biggest prize of all. A high round kick in front. Switch up round kick. Spinning back fist from one wing fin. Inahachi short left hook on the inside. The hooks are what Inahachi does so well. It was a right hook that knocked all night tonight in Beijing. Every bout so far tonight has ended in a TKO or a knockout. Picked up the front kick. And still you see the pattern here. One wing thing will force Inahachi towards the ropes on the outside. And Inahachi doesn't mind going there. He'll switch starts, he'll move around, use a lot of the ring. Perhaps uses more of the ring than any other athlete in one super series with the champion of Hachi. Looks for the uppercut, couldn't have to start. One big, flip those maniacs, show stealing blow. And then he'll deliver from the Hachi. Outside fighting from one. It's going to go down to the judges in Matrix. Are we going to have a new champion? Or does that man retain the title? Inside the massive impact arena in Bangkok, Thailand. Muay Thai in four rounds, gloves. It doesn't get any better than this. Red House kicks early from Superman. He's going straight after Mount Chopra. Oh, the hand elbow from now, Chetra, down with elbow! Oh, 
A little bit of a clinch there on the circle wall. those distance with those elbows and they come from a lot of different angles steve just wanted to remark upon the sportsmanship at the end there because it's been uh, fiercely contested this one but in the spirit that we so commonly see in one championship and once again superlet just has a little claw at that eye to see if there's been any damage done it's clearly bothering him a little bit so Botello knows he's done some damage is it enough Superlap just really going for it. Not seen an aggressive performance. I, by I a never seen fighter. Have you seen the tide? This, never. This on fire. Never this been vicious. It. Not in the first round ever. On a stage, Superlap looks absolutely superb. Beautiful combinations. Look at that. He's fighting the best. He's not mediocre. He's not average. He's the best. At only 23 years of age, Superlek Kiet Mugao has already established himself as one of the best Muay Thai fighters in the world. Superlek's resume speaks for itself. In the top stadiums of Lumpini and Ratchadamnam, Superlek has already beaten Fighter of the Year winners Sangmini, Anpeyak, and Petru Tong. He exudes the type of confidence that you look for in a top fighter, and his aggression and skill level are both key traits that will help him succeed on the international stage. Fights fans in the UK were introduced to Superlek last year when he blitzed Chris Shaw with elbows in the first round of their fight. He recently beat the very tough Muang Thai in a fight that cemented his status as one of the best in Thailand. Superlek is one of the best fighters in the world. Before I break down Superlek's offense, let's take a look at his next level defensive skills first. Even though he has fought aggressive fighters like Muang Thai, Sek San, and Porn Sine, Superlek has only been stopped once in over 120 fights by an elbow cut. To survive against top competition, Superlek has a well-rounded defense that incorporates footwork, head movement, a strong guard, and next level defensive timing. Let's take a look at how a young Superlek handles pressure from an aggressive Porn Sine. Notice how Superlek stays calm and composed after Sponsene lands hard low kick. Instead of showing fear, Superlek raises his hands in defiance, signaling to his opponent he is ready for war. This shows his mental toughness and determination to win. After the first few minutes, Superlek figures out Sponsene's timing and has no problem blocking the rest of his low kick combinations. Let's take a look at how Superlek does against Sexan, a fighter who is known for his relentless attacks. Notice how Superlek keeps a tight guard with his chin tucked in to ensure he does not get caught with a knockout punch. Superlek utilizes the jab to keep his opponent at bay and smothers him in the clinch when his leg is grabbed. As Sexan attack, Superlek makes sure he counters with strikes of his own throughout every exchange. As you can see, Superlek has the ability to withstand a flurry of punches and stay composed throughout the entire exchange. When Superlek is matched against the elbow master Muang Thai, he utilizes his rear leg block with teats to keep his opponent from getting inside position. The ability to control the distance against an aggressive fighter like Muang Thai keeps Superlek from getting tied up in the clinch and out of his elbow range. When facing the very technical Sangmini, Superlek showcases his ability to block incoming attacks with speed and precision. Even when he strikes, his defense is ready to block any incoming attack. Superlek's speed, quickness, timing, and explosive power make him extremely dangerous. Whenever he makes an opponent miss, he makes them pay with a counter-attack. He has the ability to flow from defense to offense seamlessly as he trades blows with opponents.
super lax footwork helps him create angles to attack and prevents him from being trapped in bad positions. Here he uses a combination of fakes and footwork to get a better angle to land a right kick. While his body kicks are his bread and butter, Superlek likes to mix in the low kick into his arsenal of attacks. He's very good at countering after an opponent strikes, peppering their leg with a right low kick. If he sees a fighter off balance, he will attack their leg. He uses a combination of punches and fakes to set up his low kick attacks. One of Superlek's greatest attributes is his explosive power and speed. He has the ability to go from 0 to 100 in a fraction of a second. This explosiveness has allowed him to have many vicious knockouts against tough competition. As you can see, he shows no mercy when an opening presents itself. At only 23 years of age, Superlek has already proven that he is one of the best Muay Thai fighters in the world. Keep an eye out for this young fighter as he begins to showcase his skills against more international competition. If you guys enjoyed that breakdown and want to see more videos in the future, make sure you give this video a like and hit the subscribe button below. Let me know in the comment section who you think are the top Muay Thai fighters in the world right now.